Crossing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Marcangelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a Mirror Lure. O'Hero Fishing, conquering the fishing world. Man, oh man, do we have some big fish for you this week. Hi, I'm Henry Waschuk. Welcome to another great episode of Fish in the Flats. Like I said, big fish, hey, start them off with a Goliath grouper. Heavy gear, big fish. And then we're off to Costa Rica for some big tarpon as well. I tell you, these fish just jump like crazy and I love it. And we're gonna finish off with a kayak tournament in the Everglades, where you see who wins. Stay tuned, it's gonna be great. The stuff one is making you tired. A little bit. I'm not really tired at all. <laughs> you know what? This is probably 400 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's this for drama? There you go. Today we're cooking crispy fry and baked beans. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Coming up, a Goliath on steroids. <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Woo! 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 <laughs> This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Baker Hookout Tools. We start our first adventure this week in the famed waters of Boca Grande. It's here in the beautiful waters of Southwest Florida that you can catch all kinds of big fish. Kingfish, tarpon, shark, and more. If you have the right bait and the right technique, you can catch your dream fish of a lifetime. Rodney, take care of this one. That's right. All right, well. He just got hit. There you go. There you go. Woo! Hold, hold, hold on. Just hold it. You can, you can do that. That's OK. You can let it there. That's how they do it. If it touches the gunner, that's OK. That's how he's got it. Did you lose again? Give it a line. Uh, give it a line. Let it go down real fast. For a little bit. Let it go. Let the line in. Quick. Real down fast. There you go. <laughs> That's a glide. Just let him swallow. Yep. It, huh? Plus, I like watching you struggle each time. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder every time. <laughs> I got your back. Yep, go ahead. Real damn fast. Hard. Come on, little man. I like this. You're looking good. Come on, my man. Let's go, Billy. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Come on! Come on, Billy! Come on. It's okay if it touches the gunner. That's why they got this up here. Come on! Come on! I don't know, man. He's running away. Uh. This, is, this is a bull shark. Hold it. Hold it. Let's lug. Let's lug you up. Now, look. If you go in with this connected to you, it's going to drag you through the water. <laughs> For a while. All right. Back to work. Come on. Come on. Sit me up. Sit me up. <laughs> Woo! Love it. Does stuff like this make you tired? A little bit. I'm not really tired at all. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. You're doing a good job, my man, especially being a light guy. I ain't complaining. 
If it's pulling this hard, I'm. Oh, all right, that's good. Don't let <laughs> Woo! Look at that! Woo! 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 <laughs> awesome no, work, my man. Awesome oh. work. Look at that pig. That is awesome. You know what? And this is probably 400 pounds too. Yeah, man. Look how fat his belly is. <sighs> my muscles are, oh. are spent that quick. It's amazing how fish like that can. You're good, you're good. just as fast as you whoop them. No, 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 You got your love? No. No, you want them? No, I'm good. All right. What a fish. Hold on, hold on, give me some, give me some, let me know. Ten circle hooks do their job. Once they're in there, they're in there. Perfect, bud. Perfect. There you go. Hank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Cargo Bed. Roll your world inside out. This week I've got something unique, a new product. And man, it is a great. You know what? I was at the iCast Fishing Show a year ago and I saw these bags and I said, you know what? For storage system for tackle, amazing. They've got everything from, you know, really knapsack bags, you know, that are so unique for storage. You know, I tell people, why do you want to carry a bunch of tackle out, even in a boat like this? I know what I'm fishing for that day. I pick the satchel boxes that I want, what I need, and man, I put them in there, close up the bag, and I got everything in there from sunglass holders and everything else. Like, everything comes. Like, even some of them on models, they all have a stereo built in. So if you're fishing from shore or from a pier, fantastic. Listen to some tunes and catch some fish, you know. These are great pro. Every one of them is built with a light. So if it gets a little bit dark or it's early morning, just flip it up, it lights up your whole tackle box. But all the storage system there, I mean, retractable, I mean, pliers, everything else that, you know, you need for your tackle. Everything is built in. They've thought of everything, and I'm glad they did. Coming up, an incredible tarpon nest. segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Wild River, the next generation of tackle bags. Within a short flight of Florida, our second stop this week takes Henry to the historic island of Puerto Rico. It's here within sight of the city of San Juan that you can catch more tarpon than you've ever dreamed of. The average size fish will be in the 50 pound class, but monsters exceeding 150 pounds are in the same beautiful lagoon known to many as the tarpon nest. Nervous bait. I'm just feathering out line. He's really something's underneath it for sure. Look at, you, look at my line. You can see he's just working that. Oh, he's on the surface. Anticipation. Well, I tell you, you never know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh man. He's probably going to jump again, I'll tell you, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he ran off a lot of line. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's smoking. Really? Oh, he gave me that head shake, didn't like it. Boy, he's in really shallow water here. All right. <laughs> Tarpon fishing at its best, boy, I tell you what. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh man, oh man. He didn't like that shallow water one bit. I tell you, we had so many fish on. That's one thing about tarpon fishing, you know? They're notorious to throw that hook and every time you get a fish, you go, please. <laughs> but they're just a tremendous fighting fish. You know, Henry, sometimes when those fish make that initial run that yep. uh, fast, that, that quick, sometimes they get tired a little faster than when they just decide to stay right next to the boat dug into the fight, you know? Oh yeah. There are so many thousands of anglers that travel the world for this Silver King. Once you hook one, you're hooked yourself because they're an amazing game fish. 
Yeah, he just came up to get a gulp of air, get himself some more energy. It's right on the surface there, come on. Talk about power. Grab that air and down he goes. Woo. Fighting oh. like a good one, huh, Henry? Yeah. He likes his deeper water here. He's very comfortable. All right, Mr. Tarpon. Trying to grab some more air. I know, it's a beautiful tail you got right there. <laughs> Whoa, flip it. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Look at this fish. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Good job. Oh. It's not hooked. Oh, it's not hooked very well. Not not hooked at all, Henry. Watch it. Okay, I got... <laughs> <laughs> what a gorgeous fish. There he goes, it's all right. Caught fish, man. <laughs> it's great, way to go, way to good go. job, man. What happened was we got the fish to it and the hook was not in. They have a big maxillary on the cheek right here. The hook was just tacked, but it went right around and the only way, because it rehooked the line, so it was looped around the side of the mouth. That's why we we're trying to get the rope underneath. It was just all those jumps and the big runs. Amazing. Wow. Takes a good angler to keep it like that, my friend. Baby, <laughs> way all to right. go. There you go. This week's resort feature is brought to you by the top-selling Fish and Guy app. This week's resort feature is a dream come true for Captain Omar Araka. His experience and vision has created one incredible boutique fishing lodge. Located within a 10-minute drive of San Juan's airport in Puerto Rico in the mangrove shoreline of Loisa lies his creation. Tarpon Nest Lodge is not your average fishing lodge. At first sight, you'll go wow. From the spacious gathering room to your sleeping quarters, first class all the way. With a beautiful pool, outdoor patio and bar, what else could one want after a great day of fishing? This resort was designed to provide comfort, style and top-notch service under an extremely secure ambiance. More importantly, Omar knows how to get his guest into Tarpon. That's why this world-class destination received its name, Tarpon Nest. Coming up, one tough kayak championship. Oh, shit. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Rockport Rattler Jig, the dinner bell for fish. Our final adventure takes us to the wide open flats of the Florida Everglades. It's here where the Adventure Fishing World Championship takes place. This is a new format of kayak fishing that combines fishing, strategy, navigation, and paddling, resulting in a truly unique fishing competition. Teams of two anglers compete to reach and catch fish at a minimum of three out of five eligible checkpoints in any order and return to the finish before 5 p.m. with the largest total fish length. This event was a catch, photo, release redfish, snook and trout tournament. Checkpoint locations were secret until start time and there's no suggested route. Routes would vary between six to 12 miles and should take six to nine hours to complete. The only advice they were given, please don't underestimate the extreme difficulty of this event. Fishing the Flats team members, Captain Billy Clyde and Mike McDonald took on this exciting fishing adventure against a strong field of competitors.
Go around the other side of the boat. Oh, shit. Here, open your door. I did. Billy, you gotta help Where's me, buddy. Where's he at? Feel the line. Feel the line. Get it. Get it out from the rudder. Alright, man. Hook off. Alright, you're good. Get me out of the woods here. Easier said than done. Ah. Oh. How's this for drama? First shot. Oh, you got it. He's on your foot. What? Ah, oh, yeah. Woo! Easy. One good thing about a redfish is they live a long time out of water. You'd be surprised how long they live. Thank you. Thank you, Pretty. Get her in some clear water. Take it. The field of anglers took on the largest designated subtropical wilderness reserve on the North American continent. There was no water and no food support on course. Once the anglers left the start, they were on their own. All anglers had to be prepared for everything from navigational errors to bad weather. To some, it was a pleasant experience. To others, it was an experience they will never forget. What an amazing championship. For our champion of the first annual Adventure Fishing World Championships, this team caught the biggest fish at the Silver Checkpoint, a 28 and a half inch snook. This team caught the biggest fish at blue with a 25 inch red. This team caught the biggest fish at yellow slash black, another 25 inch red. This team caught the biggest fish at checkpoint two green, a 27 and a half inch snook. And a drum roll everybody. Ready big with 152 total inches of fish. This week's recipe is brought to you by Primo Grills and Smokers, the total culinary experience. Hi, I'm Steve Adams for Fishing the Flats. Today we're cooking crispy fry and baked beans. We're gonna use some sea trout, and I think I'm gonna take the baked beans off. I've had them going for a while. Oh, they look really good, um, and they're really hot. So let's take them off, and then we'll get going on the, on the fish. Actually, I'm gonna start warming up my, my pan here. Leave that open. Oh, look at that. Those are yummy baked beans right there. That's gonna stir them up. Wow, look at that. That's perfect. Look at that bacon in there. That's a nice, thick consistency. I'm just gonna set this off to the side right here. Warming my pan. I'm gonna put some oil in it, and we'll get going on this. Get this oil nice and hot. Let's get going with the Hank's Crispy Fry. It's got this handy shaker right here. It's pretty cool. Look at this, you've got a lid. You've got an insert that goes like this. And I'm just going to put some of the Crispy Fry right in, like that. For the amount that I have, I'm gonna go with about this much. That's really good. Now I marinated, I marinated this um, sea trout in buttermilk. We've got some nice little strips here. I'm just gonna throw them all in, right on top. Watch how this works. Looks really good. Off to the side. Put the lid on. Let me just check my heat here. Oh, that's looking good. Put the top on and simply just go like this. 
and you've got those little holes in the bottom. So all of the crispy fry is going to go down to the bottom. Let's go like that. Open it up. Look at that. That's perfect. Yeah, I think we're ready to put it on. We'll just test a little bit like this. Oh yeah, see that? See how it's starting to sizzle? That means it's ready. Let's lay them down. Even in a frying pan like this, I still go presentation side down. There's a nice one there. A couple more. Right there. Now I'm just gonna move that around like that. It's not gonna take that long. We'll let that go. I'll grab some tongs and we'll be ready for a flip. Okay, I think we're ready to flip the fish. Yep, look at that. Nice and golden brown. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at how crispy and golden that is. Wow, this is a pan fry fish. You could do this on the shore. This is gonna be like another minute, I'd say, and we'll pull it off, put it on some paper towel, and then we'll go into plating. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's kinda windy, so I'm just gonna hold that down. Look at this. Yum. This, I would do with just about any fish. Oh, look at the golden little pieces there. This is really good crispy fry. And we're ready for some plating. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of parsley. Add some green. Again, presentation's everything. So we'll come in like this. Put all the stems facing in like that. Keep it open on the front. Now like that. And I think what we'll do is add some of the crispy pieces in like this. Oh, look at that. Mmm. I can't tell you how good that is. If you could try that right now, you're gonna go like this. Stack it up. Just stack it up like that. There you go. Grilled sea trout with Hank's Crispy Fry and baked beans. I'm Steve Adams for Fishing the Flats. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop, one-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. Don't miss next week's three great fishing adventures. Monster Nighttime Snook, Topwater Jack Crevels from the Reefs of the Pacific, Turpin from Silver King Lodge, and more grilling and chilling. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Butcher's Best by Mark Angelo Foods. Mirror Lure, turn on the bite anytime. Tie on a mirror lure. Oh, Hero Fishing, conquering the fishing world. Look at the size of this fish.